the young and the restless, spoilers shock. Jack Abbott stood in his office at Jabut, staring out the large window that overlooked the bustling city below. The weight of the decision he was about to make pressed heavily on his shoulders. For years, he had been at the helm of Jabut, guiding the company through both prosperous and turbulent times. The idea of handing over the reins to someone else, even to his own son, was not one he took lightly. But after much contemplation, Jack had come to a realization. What Kyle wanted most was the opportunity to prove himself as CEO of Jabut, to wield the power that came with the title, and to step out of his father's shadow. Jack had always been tough on Kyle, perhaps too tough at times. He had seen potential in his son, but he had also seen flaws, youthful arrogance, a tendency to act impulsively, and a hunger for power that Jack worried might lead Kyle down the wrong path. This had led to countless disagreements and tension between father and son, leaving Jack wondering if Kyle was truly ready for the responsibility that came with leading Jabbit. But now, Jack found himself reconsidering. Maybe it was time to give Kyle the chance to prove his worth, to see if he could rise to the occasion and lead Jabbat into the future. After all, Kyle was intelligent, capable, and he had grown a lot over the past few years. Jack had to admit that Kyle had a keen business mind, and more importantly, that he had matured into a man who knew where the line was drawn between ambition and recklessness. Taking a deep breath, Jack turned away from the window and sat down at his desk. He had made up his mind. It was time to give Kyle the opportunity he had been craving. Jack would step back, at least for a while, and let his son take the reins of Jabut. It would be a test, both of Kyle's abilities and of their relationship as father and son. Later that evening, Jack called Kyle into his office. The younger Abbott entered, his expression cautious but curious. He had no idea what was about to be discussed, but he could sense that something significant was on his father's mind. Kyle, Jack began, his voice steady. I've been thinking a lot about the future of Jabbit and about your place in it. Kyle's heart skipped a beat. He had long hoped for this moment, but he had also feared it. His relationship with his father had been strained for years, marked by a series of misunderstandings and unmet expectations. But despite their differences, Kyle had always wanted his father's approval. More than anything, he wanted to prove that he was capable of leading Jabut. I know you've been waiting for a chance to show what you can do, Jack continued, his eyes meeting Kyle's. And I think it's time you got that chance. I'm going to step back, and I want you to take over as CEO of Jebit. Kyle's eyes widened in surprise. He had dreamed of this moment, but he had never expected it to come so suddenly. Dad, are you sure? he asked, his voice trembling slightly with emotion. I mean, you've never really believed I was ready. Jack nodded, acknowledging the truth in Kyle's words. I'll admit, I've had my doubts, but I also know you're smart and you've got the potential to do great things. I want to see what you can do with this opportunity. I want to see if you can lead Jabbit with the same passion and dedication that I have. Kyle felt a lump form in his throat. For so long, he had yearned for this validation from his father. And now that it was finally here, he felt a mix of emotions. Pride, relief, and a deep sense of responsibility. Tears welled up in his eyes as he realized that his father was finally seeing him for who he was, not just for who he had once been. Thank you, Dad, Kyle said, his voice choked with emotion. I won't let you down, I promise. Jack stood and walked around the desk, pulling Kyle into a rare embrace. It was a moment of reconciliation, a silent acknowledgement of the challenges they had faced together and the ones that still lay ahead. Kyle returned the embrace, the tears he had been holding back finally spilling over. It was a cathartic release, breaking down of the walls that had kept them apart for so long. After what felt like an eternity, they pulled apart, both men feeling lighter, as if a great burden had been lifted from their shoulders. Jack gave Kyle a reassuring smile. You've got this, son. I believe in you. Kyle nodded, his heart swelling with determination. He knew that this was his chance to prove himself, not just to his father, but to the entire family. And he knew exactly what he had to do next. The first thing Kyle did after leaving his father's office was make a call to Victor Newman. It was a call he had been dreading, but one that he knew was necessary. For some time now, Kyle had been working for Victor, 
serving his interests while trying to balance his responsibilities at Jabot. But now, with his new role as CEO, Kyle knew that he couldn't continue down that path. He had to focus all his energy on Jabot, on earning the trust his father had placed in him. When Victor answered the phone, Kyle's resolve only strengthened. Victor, Kyle began, his voice firm, I'm calling to let you know that our arrangement is over. I won't be working with you anymore. There was a pause on the other end of the line, followed by a low chuckle. I see, Victor said, his tone measured. I knew this day would come, Kyle. I just didn't think it would come so soon. Kyle took a deep breath, preparing himself for whatever reaction might come. But to his surprise, Victor's response was almost respectful. Good luck, Kyle. You're going to need it, Victor said, his voice carrying a note of finality. With that, the call ended, and Kyle let out a breath he hadn't realized he was holding. It was done. He was free from Victor's influence, free to focus on his new role at Jabot. Returning to Jabot, Kyle felt a renewed sense of purpose. He was stepping into a new chapter of his life, one where he had the full support of both his father and his mother. For the first time in a long while, he felt confident in his ability to lead, to make decisions that would shape the future of the company his family had built. As he entered the boardroom for his first meeting as CEO, Kyle felt a sense of calm wash over him. He was ready for this. He was ready to show the world and his father that he was capable of great things. And with the love and support of his family behind him, he knew there was nothing he couldn't achieve. The Abbott family was united once more, and with Kyle at the helm of Jabut, they were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. This version deepens the emotional and psychological journey of both Jack and Kyle, highlighting their reconciliation and the significant changes in their relationship. The narrative sets up Kyle's new role as CEO with a strong sense of purpose and responsibility, making the story more compelling and relatable. Let me know if there's anything more you'd like to add or adjust.